Hello everybody and we're back on Snow Runner. So we're going to be doing some major upgrades on this truck and yeah, let's go ahead and start doing some upgrades to it. So we're going to go to customize and the first thing that we're going to do to it is of course put a big, very big engine to it. So we're going to give it a IMZ8 330T. So an engine block that to, to resist more modern approach to engineering. This engine offers even better acceleration and power output. As well, as well high, uh, high durability. So yeah, I mean, we're, of course we're gonna go for that engine. It's also for free, which is also very nice. And I was thinking about going with a off-road gearbox. I'm not, I'm not sure if, I really gonna, if, if we're gonna really use it, but let's go ahead and you know what? I think I'm not, I'm just gonna give it an off-road gearbox. Let's go ahead and do that. So I think this might be our only truck that has a off-road gearbox. I'm not really sure, but I think it's on, our only one. So uh, we're also gonna give it some race suspension. There we go, look at this thing. It's looking pretty good, it's looking really good. Look at the power to weight, like power output. It's just crazy. So of course we're gonna give it a uh, race suspension. We're also gonna give it some better tires definitely so we're also gonna check out the tire selection so we could go for these very beefy big tires which are to be honest quite expensive uh, we could also go for mud tires but they're gonna be more expensive and kind of bad on road so I think the only option that we have is to pick out these very big tires I mean they look pretty amazing of course on this truck so should we go for the bigger tires I think we should this thing I mean this thing is gonna look amazing uh, I mean, it's definitely gonna... Actually, it's pretty much the same price. We could go for mud tires at the same time, but I think, yeah, they're a little bit too expensive. So, let's give it some big-ass off-road tires. There you go. So, we already wa <laughs> basically wasted all of our money on this. Um, I'm not gonna do, do anything to the winch. We could add a spare tire. So, let's go ahead and actually give it a spare tire. Why not? Uh, any snorkel options? No, nothing. Nope, nothing that we can really do to it. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm definitely not gonna add a crane to it. Of course not. Uh, any front side? Nope, nothing else. Maybe to here? An air conditioning unit? Yeah, I think I don't want to add these ridiculous, ridiculous things on it. I mean, I could add some lights to the front of it. Some small parking lights. I mean, they look kind of cool. I don't know if I should. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay, already was installed. Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. And we're also gonna check out the bumper, because we do have a new bumper. I mean, it looks much better than the other one that we had. So let's go ahead and give it this bumper, a hinged bumper. Uh, miscellaneous, twin horns? No. I mean, we could give it a horn. I mean, that looks kind of amazing. Yeah, let's give it a twin horn. There we go. Uh, let's take a look at exhaust. Uh, I think I'm gonna go witch cap. I think I'm just gonna keep this exhaust for now. I mean, should I really waste the money on... Uh, you know what, screw it. I mean, this, tr this truck is going to be really amazing. So we should definitely s s give it some... Give it some upgrades to it. Some, some proper upgrades to it. I don't know if I should add anything to the top of it. Because I feel like, I mean, air conditioning unit is kind of like... <laughs> I don't know if we should really have it up there. We could add a beacon. A beacon look would be pretty cool, but no. I think it's going to be enough. So here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and leave the garage and see how it looks like from the outside. Okay, here it is. Uh, by the way, I also transported the, the Tega to our uh, to this map over here. So yeah, let's see how fast this thing goes. Let's go ahead and, and start up the engine. Brand new engine that we have installed. Wow, look at the tires are so... <laughs> oh, man. I didn't expect them to be that wide. Let's see how it drives. Oh, yeah. Look at the smoke. So, yeah, it has a... Now it has a low gear and low range. That's very nice. This thing is a beast. I love it. Okay, before it looked like a little tiny truck that, that we could have not really used that much, but this is going to be our next beast. Definitely. This is so amazing. Oh man, it goes fast. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing today, or what we're going to be doing today, is going to repair this bridge. So we have a bridge over here that we have to repair, which is over here. So we need to pick up some concrete slabs, which is going to be in the quarry. 
So we need to travel to the quarry to pick up some slaps. And of course, we're going to be doing that with this truck. For sure. Uh, we also might have to buy our, uh, or actually attach a trailer to the back of it. Because we need two of them. And the slaps actually to, uh, take, take up two spaces for, yeah, for, uh, on this trailer over here. So we need to, we definitely know, need to get a trailer somewhere. This thing is amazing. I mean, it, it's definitely a big, a big improvement. Definitely. So here we go. We're going to travel to the quarry and pick up some concrete slabs. Okay, here we go in the quarry. And let's start the engine. Oh, put on, put out the handbrake. Of course, we do have to do that always. Man, look at the sumo coming out. It's much crazier than before. <laughs> Everything about this truck is just crazy and over the top that we should have not really did it like that we should have haven't done in the first place, but we still did it anyways. Man, this is <laughs> over the top just crazy. So we're definitely gonna like we're definitely gonna do some heavy things with this thing. We're definitely gonna do some heavy contracts. There we go. Not a single problem. I mean we did lose some speed, but that's about it. I mean, we have off-road tires. We do not have mud tires. I mean, mud tires would have been more of a better choice. But I mean, the problem is the—I mean, the problem with the mud tires is that we're not going to get that that much grip on the road. And I, I mean, I kind of like both, like a little bit of grip on the road and kind of in between. Like also have good off-road capabilities. So that's why I bought the off-road tires. And these are like huge. So they're definitely going to be really amazing. So, uh, I think we need to go down here, the quarry, of course we do. And there shouldn't be a trailer down there. Yes, I think there is one. Yeah, there it is. A little simple trailer that we're going to also attach. And hopefully get out of the, this, this big quarry. Because it's not a small one, it's a, uh, a fairly, fairly big one. Oh, goddamn, just, <laughs> come on. Gave you some brand new suspension, and you're just gonna break it already. I mean, it's kind of my fault, but still. Damn, you look at the fuel usage 15 liters. I mean, yeah, it does use a lot of fuel, it's not really economical, but I don't care. I don't really do not care. I just love this thing, I just love everything about it. <laughs> okay, so over here, um, we need to pick up the stuff, uh, but first, I'm gonna go to the trailer and attach it. And then we're gonna go and back up to the place where we need to pick up the the slabs. Okay, here we go. Get the silt. Yes. Not a problem. No, of course not a problem. Okay, and then right over here, I have to go ahead and back up. Okay, there we go. And put on the handbrake. And I think I should attach. No, okay, a little bit more. There we go. That should be enough. Okay, there you go. So now, uh, we're going to be backing up and turning this way. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Yeah, I, I like, before when we got the truck, I was like, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I wasn't really sure if, I, if I'm really going to use it that much, but now I'm definitely going to use this thing quite a lot. Just because of the sheer amount of power that it has and just how just big it looks like now than compared to compare them before. Okay, so concrete slabs, and then also on the trailer. There you go. Oh, we can actually load more things onto it. Interesting. That's very interesting indeed. Okay, so I'm gonna see how it's going to be capable with uh, the slabs on it. It's maybe gonna go a little bit slower, but we still have this uh, new gearbox. So it's definitely, oh my god, 20 liters per minute. That's crazy. That's so crazy. That's like by far the most fuel that I have ever seen like used on this like this type of truck. That's that's over the top crazy. Okay, let's go for for low gear. We do not want to go fast over here. Okay, let's go ahead and kind of back up. And then come on. Come on, you can do this. There we go. Come on. Turn, turn, turn. Beautiful. Good job. Okay, so now, uh, what you have to do is try to actually make this turn. 
which is not going to be quite easy. Okay, hold on, handbrake. And then full power. Come on. Can you do this? Oh, it's kind of struggling. There you go. And then again. Hold on the handbrake. Yes. And then power. Power, power, power. Power. You can do this. There we go. Doing well. Just don't flip over the trailer that you have. And of course you didn't. Nice. Okay. Let's go back to uh, normal. Let's go back to automatic. Yeah. This is very good. It's looking very, very good. Just go get up this hill. Come on. Do this. You have the power to do it. Yeah, it's kind of struggling a little bit, but that's to be expected, of course, with its load and with the quite big trailer that we have. Come on. Are you really struggling? Come on, I, like, I gave you a bigger engine. You should have not really been struggling. I mean, I mean, you're definitely going to struggle, but I was thinking that not that much. Here you go. We're almost on a road. Almost there. I mean, the insides. Oh, well, I, wait, 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 wait. I didn't know that we ha actually had benches in the back of it. So wait, it's actually a uh, four-seater. Interesting. Or it could be a bed. I could consider that as a bed, but still, a four-seater truck. I mean, I have heard of four-seater trucks, but not in this like kind of. I mean, it looks like a pickup truck kind of. It does look like a pickup truck. Not like not from the outside, but from the inside, like the four seats and all that. Nice. So you can actually transport like like four people at the same time while while, while you're transporting your things. That's very, very. That's, that's some good task multitasking. <laughs> See, I feel like the, the, it doesn't really have that much grip on the road at all. Like some sometimes doesn't really I want to turn. Come on. I trust you. I trust you with all the power that you have. Here we go. Well done, well done. And right into the mud. Good job. <laughs> Getting dirty. Getting very, very dirty. Look at you. Majestic thing. Such a majestic thing. Turn. We're almost there. We're almost gonna travel to the other map. Oh, okay, don't go. Don't go there. <laughs> I don't want you to go there. Just stay on the road and everything will be fine. I think it might be because of the trailer that's like kind of making me turn really sharp, like very sharp sometimes. It could be. Okay, so now we're gonna be traveling to to there. Okay, so now we should be here. Okay, hopefully the trailer is not going to do anything weird. Okay, it's not doing anything. Good. <laughs> so, uh, where, what should, like, I mean, what should we, what road should we be taking? Uh, we could go ahead and take this one over here. Uh, I'm not really sure how deep the water is, but screw it. Let's do it. We do have, I mean, we have a high, we added some high suspension to it, so it should be fairly capable. But I'm kind of worried how deep the water is. And hopefully it's also not going to be too heavy for a truck to get stuck onto. But I do not, like, I don't want to go and take the same dirt path that we always take. So let's just have a little bit of a different adventure over here. Okay, let's turn. And somewhere around here, we have to turn again. Look how much fuel! Like, we, from this, like this little journey that we did, we almost used up like 130 liters. That's quite a lot of fuel. Like now, I'm kind of worried that the engine is a little bit too big for a truck, but hopefully not too big. Okay, we're struggling quite a bit. Let's go on high. Let's go on low plus gear. Okay, let's go back to normal. Uh, yeah, actually the water doesn't really look too... I mean, doesn't look like too... 
to be that deep. So we should be definitely, we should definitely be fine. Okay, come on. You can do this. Just go that way. And you're gonna be all fine. Wow, look at that car just flipped over in the river. Poor little car. Whoa, okay, never mind. That's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. Okay, now I'm kind of worried. <laughs> now I'm kind of worried. Uh, okay, I think we're doing it. Yeah, we are. That's amazing. Okay, yeah, we definitely have to use a winch. <laughs> we're definitely not gonna get out of this uh, big muddle. No, no, okay, don't, no, no, no. don't use your winch that way. You can just go ahead and attach yourself onto this, onto this tree. Yes, come on, a little more. Okay, are you gonna be able to get out? Nope, nothing, nothing is budging. Again, okay, winch. Get me out of here! Wow, okay. <laughs> That's... Mm, no! You really don't want to budge. You really don't want to budge. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, there we go. Look at that. We're out. Almost. And now we're out. Okay, so... <laughs> that was kind of... I mean, I was kind of worried there for a minute. But, oh, seems like we're fine. So we're just gonna keep going. Of course, I mean, we still have a pretty long journey behind this. I mean, I should have maybe went the upper route, but... There's no turning back, of course. There's no turning back. So we're just gonna stick on this side. Don't flip over. Don't shoot. There, flip over. Okay, good job. Good, 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 good job. Let's go back to the automatic. We can go a little faster over here. Come on. Yes. Now the diff... Oh, we should, yeah, we should be coming across another difficult part to get across. Uh, yes. All the steam that's coming out of this thing. It's like a train. Not really. <laughs> it's not really a train. Oh, yes, some wood. Wood that I can drive onto. Yes. Nice. And then... Yeah, this should be better. Come on. Here we go. That's better. And then again, back to mud. Okay, so our last puddle that we have to cross. Hopefully we can get up under this bridge. Yes, okay, we can. <laughs> we can. Let's still get across. That's again pretty deep. Uh, come on, please, so that, that I can get close closer to this tree. Let's see, can I attach myself to anything? Oh yes, you're gonna be you're gonna be helping me out. You're definitely gonna help me. Yes. Look at the fuel usage. Oh my god. That's unbelievable. 130 liters right now. Wait, then I saw to Look at the fuel usage. <laughs> 2.4 liters per minute. Oh my god, now I'm kind of worried. Now I'm seriously worried about this. Okay, are we supposed to turn somewhere? Uh, no, okay, we just have to go forward. Now I'm seriously worried. We're going incredibly slow, like a very, very slow. Not to even laugh about, it's not really that we're going very fast. Let's go back to normal. We do have some grip over here. Just a little bit, and not anymore. Not anymore! We're almost there, just get up this hill. Just use all the fuel that you have, that you still have. Because most of it you already used. Don't use all of it right now, like the hundred liters that you have right now. Oh my God, you're swing, you're sinking quite badly. Um, <laughs> you're really sinking quite badly to this. Okay, 
Can I attach myself to this? Thank you. Come on. Get up this hill. Just get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. <laughs> get up. Yeah, you're surely like it. Oh man, I'm not really sure if this is going to be a good truck for anything. For top speed, definitely. I mean, definitely, it's, it's very fun, but I'm not really sure with, with like these very heavy contracts. Okay, yes, yes, it's looking better. Okay, you're almost there. There's a road. Yes, you're you're there. You have a beautiful road in front of you. That you can just drive on very fast. Yes, we did it! We did it! Okay. So, we got the concrete slabs. We just have to drive a couple more meters. And there should be the bridge, which is completely broken down. There's nothing left of it. Oh, slow down. <laughs> slow down. Here it is. Cargo management. Beautiful. That's pretty cool. Animation. And here we go. Okay, thanks for help for, for your help. So now what this means is we can get across like a normal, like a normal factory town, whatever this I mean, whatever this looks like, I mean, we can finally get across this bridge and travel to the metal delivery, the factory, and all that. So this is really good. Really good news. So, now, uh, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the engine. Because there's still one more truck that we haven't customized, which is the Dan. And I'm also going to customize the Dan right about now. Here we go. Here's the Dan. And we're going to go ahead and drive into the garage see what sort of upgrades that we can actually give it to this to this little feller so uh, no engines no gearbox no suspension and oh and only has all terrain okay interesting uh, we could spend our money on some off-road tires but should I really be doing it should I consider doing it no I think we should not I think that all I mean this truck is already pretty good so let's go ahead and not do that uh, we could add a frame, or I was thinking about turning this truck into like a crane. That would be pretty amazing, like turning it into a little mini crane. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Should I do it? Should I actually make this into our, like our first proper crane? Hmm. I mean, that would be pretty amazing. I mean, this is going to be, then it could, I mean, this could be our only vehicle of a crane. Most of our, I mean, most of our Russian trucks have uh, a normal flatbed, but that would be pretty amazing. I mean, it's gonna be definitely heavy, but it looks amazing. Let's screw it. We're gonna spend all of our money on this crane. Oh man, this thing. I mean, it's definitely heavy. So, any exhaust? Oh wow, what is that? That looks like a, that looks like a chimney. <laughs> it looks like a like a normal standard pipe. Okay, that looks kind of weird. Uh, I don't know. I mean, should I really? I mean, this looks kind of ridiculous. No. We're not gonna do anything to it. Uh, we could add some bigger, tall beacons. That would be pretty cool. Or some horns on the front of it. Or some lights. I mean, the lights are kind of unnecessary. Let's go for double horns. Of course we are gonna go for double horns. I uh, think, should we go for a cabin air conditioning unit? No, not really. Let's go for the tall beacons, double tall be beacons. There we go. Front bumper, uh, good, good question. Yeah, let's go for the crossbar. Any rims? I think, yeah, those rims look better. Uh, we're also gonna check out the paint jobs. Uh, Cause I do wanna give it, ooh. I wanna, I wanna give it the same, the same color as the crane. Um, this looks quite close, not really. Mm, ooh, this one looks also not bad. Yeah, let's do, give it this color. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, we don't have any suspension upgrades, whatever like that. But, look at this thing. Looks amazing. Oh, damn. I mean, is this still going to be powerful enough? I'm kind of worried. I mean, nah. It should be fine. 
I guess. <laughs> I guess it should be fine. Uh, we're gonna test out the crane. So, activate. Okay, so we have to put on this first. Oh no, okay, first this, and then crane mode. Oh man, look at this. This is cool. I like this. I really, really like this. Whee! <laughs> How long does this go? Oh, damn. I mean, it does go quite long. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, man. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna restore the crane. But we're definitely gonna do some work with this thing. Definitely. But the horn also does my sound pretty cool. So yeah, guys, um, I guess what we're gonna do is end off this video right here. I mean, this is a perfect time to do it, so with our beautiful new vehicle that has a uh, pretty huge crane on it. And, of course, we also completed a contract and also did some upgrades to the Tega. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. That would be very, very amazing of you. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!